Good morning, everybody. So today's episode, we're going to be doing some a little review and putting my blaster back together. So this is a 2000 Yamaha Blaster 200, and as you can see, I've got the top end off. So I rebuilt the carburetor and you know put a new spark plug in and it still didn't seem to be running correctly and stuff so I checked compression and it had very little compression so I went ahead and ordered a uh, top end kit off of eBay not sure how it's going to work you get what you pay for um, I think I spent with shipping I think I spent like 60 bucks on this kit so right off the bat you can see that I already had the box open so your gaskets and the gaskets look pretty decent take the top off inside the box you have your cylinder and all its trimmings you have uh, your piston rings you have your piston and you have your circlips for the um, for the piston bearing and here's the bearing so everything looks pretty decent except for I mean it's it's a sixty dollar kit so you're gonna find some stuff for example one of the ports on the piston is going to need uh, need a little trimming it looks like some flaking there from the manufacturing process. But other than that, I mean it is a cheap kit. But we're gonna put it together and we're gonna see we're gonna see how it works. How it runs, I have to grind this off, look over everything, make sure everything's good. We'll go from there. Not the ultimate thing to do, but I don't think the old blaster is going to care. So looking at looking at the head of the uh, cylinder, looking at the cylinder, the cross hatching inside the cylinder, and I don't know if you can see that or not. Cross hatching inside the cylinder looks good, and pretty much everything about the cylinder looks okay or good. Um, I won't have to grind anything on here, I don't believe. So, let's see what happens.
we got everything back on and torqued down. Got the fuel tank on. We're getting ready to see if this thing will fire up. There's a new cylinder head on there. So, ran into another problem with this thing. Um, wouldn't start, so I started checking around the electrical system and the resistance in the uh, ignition coils and stuff is significantly lower than what the recommendation is, so I gotta replace the ignition. The ignition coil and all that kind of stuff to try to get this thing started. So, hopefully, get that stuff ordered and get it on there and see if she'll 